so far and looking to have a possible solid start here with those stats. Yeah, look a little swole over there, and we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get some uh, instructions from the king and these first three chests. They got heal under their belt, and I'll have the eh, HP. Ooh, a fighter's ring out the gate. We also got a Red Bull. Hey, gives you wings and gets you out of this bad boy without having to spin a key. Yeah, it's great news. You get an extra two attack power with that fighter's ring. Get to keep that key. We'll see if they opt to go ahead and just battle while they're outside or go back in and check that treasury. We got desert surrounding the castle today, so we're in Agra Ball apparently. And looks like we got a ghost starting out. Tilo's gonna go and take that down, hopefully. Yeah, Ghost definitely within range, and we see that little bit of divergence between the strategies. Tilo's opting, that since he's outside, go ahead and do some battles real fast. Before he goes back in, Smashy immediately runs back in to save, and we're going to get a treasury check momentarily. Uh, let's see what the armory has in store today. We have a torch, so we got a lighter. We got Muns. Possible gold grind. Possible gold grind. And, ooh, the silver harp. Not what you want to see, but he's going to go and make a reset. And level 2 for Tilo. So incoming on level 2. We have 14, 6, 3. No MP, but that 14 power. Ooh, if you are a Drakey, you do not want to get punched in the face. <laughs> Yeah, that extra 14 power just really opened up a lot of uh, a lot of enemies. I would expect to see them go to zone 1 or 2 and try and see what's out there. Uh, Smashy takes that reset after checking that treasury. Knows he only needs 85 gold, and then he's got infinite keys after that. Damn. And looks like Tila Tila is wasting no time giving people sure you can some roundhouse kicks to the face. Uh, Wolf Lord might be a bit out of it. Yeah, a little out your reach. Yeah, that kind of stepped up. Oh, and it stepped up even more with the Green Dragon. Not going to get the lucky run this time and getting sent back. We'll probably see him do a treasury check at this point. Indeed. I, I heard you was feeding the bears. I'm the park ranger on duty today. Uh, we can't have that. And Hawks us the first town for Smashy. Ugh. Not what you want to see. Yeah, not particularly a, a nice town to have um, initially, but it'll be nice if it is a good gold grind or a good grind later on since it is so close to the castle here. That is true. Close to the castle, you can heal up, refill your magic, and do it again. Magic Drakey, first look at them. Looks like they they don't have uh, Dracula's blessing this time around. We've been seeing Magic Drakeys and Drakimas with the blessing of Dracula. Level 3 incoming, though. So we have 7 more power, 3 HP, 1 MP, and not a single ounce of agility. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so do I, but uh, that strength's fantastic, especially with no additional spells outside that heal um definitely opens up it continues to open up who they can attack here who they can meddle down and they got multiple heals to, to back them up along the way skeletons looks like skeletons warlocks maybe a wolf they can start giving headlocks and choke slams to yeah, Wolves will probably hit them a little too a little too hard with that lower uh, HP there and not much defense, but this Drakeem is fantastic, even with the hurt resolves, it doesn't back it up with the heal spell. At level 4, 7 more power, 2 more agility, 4 more hit points, not a thing of MP. What's going on here? A Drakeem will hurt. And there's that skeleton, and a Kaishimichi no Geki, 31 to the face, another 25. Yeah, and just that quickly, we see Smashy approaching uh, level 5. He's only uh, one or two enemies away, depending on what he runs into here. Yeah, you see Hawk's Nest. That's not what you want to be. And Red Slime, he's not going to take that fight. And a wolf is going to send Tilo back to the house. Yeah, just uh, that's about the, the top level of where you don't want to see for sure. Or the bottom level, I should say. Anything below that is probably within play, though. That is true. Right now, nope, you don't want to fight a Drakey. And that's another Drakey. Yeah, don't want to fight that. I think, I think Smash is looking for, oh, he's looking for a ghost. And that's level five? Nope, not quite yet. Yeah, he's just kind of wandering all around the uh, immediate zones nearby here, uh, seeing what he can see. Uh, heading kind of north where Tilo was at earlier, where we got into that Wolf Lord and then Green Dragon zone. But Tilo's going to finally get level three and be close to four and start catching up in experience. That'd be a good, uh, that's a good play. 
Again, that wolf looked a little too above their pay grade. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't try and uh, find another enemy or two over in that skeleton zone that we saw earlier. That is a dead end up there, though, so um, either have to go west from here or to the east and southeast. Looks like we're at the northern end of the continent, so... Yeah, oh, uh, looks like we're at the north, near the northwest end. Oh, Trakima. And looks like Smashy didn't want to take that fight. Interesting. A magician. Another Kaishin. 23 more, and that's 8 more. And it's closing the gap. That golem, not as, uh, not as nice, though. And uh, he's going to get a quick trip back to the house, uh, top off, and then come out and get that level. Indeed, that was a stony brick to the face. Never want to see that. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of surprised Smashy ran from that Drakima unless he happened to run into one earlier, saw that hurt, and felt that it wasn't uh, something that he wanted to fight. Well, the hurt still is not that bad with the, with the current... Ooh, that's a dodge. Never want to see that. But nonetheless, that should be level 5. Oh, no, not yet. No, that's level 5 over on Tilo Tilo's side, and we're going to get 7 more power, 1 agility, 1 hit point, and 2 magic, and still no more spells. And Smashy now joins the level 5 club. Not a single spell going into level 5. Uh, in chat, when, when are we going to see our next set of spells? Put your guesses in chat. Tilo heads a little south, gets the news about Hawksness being nearby, immediately gets out of there and uh, continues to walk around. Looks like pow uh, Poison Powder just informed us that uh, Trakimas have hurt and heal. Yeah, that heal's no good at all then right now. They're not over they're not able to, to power through that yet, so they would have to get a couple lucky swings and stay out of that 75% range or uh, else yeah, they're they're just a little too much. Okay, this is an interesting play from Smashy. Smashy's gonna go to the back of the castle. Probably buy probably refund that key of it get that key of his. Yep, get a key. And let's see what's in the back of the castle while we get our first look at the druid. Yeah, Smashy just opening up this door. He's going to go get the treasury, get all that gold, top off keys, and then we will definitely see a, a check downstairs. I am sure of it. Without question. And while he's on there, he's going to take that silver heart. That might be a very useful instrument for right now, because if he can get to zone one, keep using the harp, bring the monsters to him. You don't have to do a whole lot of walking. Lazy man grind. Yeah, it looks like Tilo found a, a nice little zone one patch over here in the desert. Doesn't evidently want to stay there. Kind of walking back and forth. Not quite sure what he's looking for there. We saw the Druid a couple times now. Ooh, that's nasty, though. Eh, not what you want to see. Real jerk bird. Manages the run on 26 agility, though. So, uh, lives to see another, uh, another battle here. Indeed, and takes down a Drakima. Now, smash you with the gamble. And that's either Swamp North or the Great. That looks like Swamp North. And there's our AK 47. And oh, it has flame piercing rounds. Not what you want to see. To the house you go. Yeah, and you hate to see that as a runner in, in the Swamp Cave because you know, once you find Mountain as well, boom, same enemy set in there. A Hurt More laying Armored Knight. Not going to be viable for quite a while. Yeah, he, he traded in them armor-piercing rounds and got himself some flame tips today. You're going to get blown up straight. <laughs> Not the white phosphorus that we normally see on them, but hey, this is good. Level 6 coming in from Tilo's side. 3 more power, 3 more speed. 4, 2, wow. A bit of a level, but not much of a level. Yeah, some, some barely nominal n levels across the board. No zeros, I guess, is a bonus there, but uh, not, not what they're wanting, and, and still no more spells. So um, maybe uh, Elmore's dream of all nine other spells coming at level 13 can come true. That would be absolutely fantastic, honestly. Great for us in the booth. Hate for the runners. And a droll goes down. First look at the droll, not much on the droll. So, so far, we don't... The, outside of the AK-47s with the, that hurt more... There's not much dangerous going on right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if uh, both runners continue to opt in their respective grind areas. Uh, Tilo's got a, a spot with some scorpions over here. Uh, we've got a Droll, um, Drakima. This might be where the skeleton was, but I'm not 100%. Oh, Droll has healed. 
Ooh, Troll's gonna be a bit on the inconvenient side today, but still, nonetheless, he goes down. And then Smash is gonna get his level six uh, question in chat. What's happened so far? Um, not a whole lot, honestly. We started level one with heal and wings, so they were able to get out and save their key. Smashy has gone back and purchased more keys with the two gold chests that are in the treasury, along with the silver harp. They did have a fighter's ring in the uh, throne room as well. Decent stats out of the gate, so they've been able to take on all the enemies, but we got a metal slime over here. We'll see if it sticks around, but um, outside of that, just some grinding. Boom. Nope. Above 20 above twenty strength, you are not... That's a 50 50 chance coin flip. You're not going to want to... They're not going to stick around. Oh, the deputy's out and about. Oh... Get in the paddy wagon. You're going on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, Blue Dragon's way out of their zone right now. Seems to be uh, a lot of uh, nasty zones kind of surrounding these immediate uh, starting zones. So we'll see if uh, the runners can find a like little path out of there. Maybe get a hero run through that uh, through that mount or swamp cave and uh, get to the other side. We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. But here's the th here's an interesting play here. Smashy always go back, get his money. And oh, he's gonna make an exp exploration attempt here. This is gonna be this is a good play. Yeah, taking that cash out of there, um, not a big deal for him to go grab an extra 15 seconds or so. Gonna try and push out exploration. Um, any the other town we run into, we know is gonna have a, a shop of some nature in it. So maybe he gets lucky and finds it. Yeah, but here's the thing though. Further down, we do know that the deputy is lurking within the within the trees though. So. He's gonna need to. He's gonna have to have some good luck here. Trakima incoming though. That's a good fight. And Trakima goes down. That's an easy twenty. Oh, their bottleneck. They have to go east, southeast at that, and that's a stone man. Yeah, I was going to say, that's going to take them right back through that zone with the Blue Dragons, which also has Stone Men, evidently. Um, we do have uh, Tilo Tilo. It's going to be getting level 7 here very soon. Maybe next enemy. That'll be interesting to see what's on 7, but... Ugh. That is nasty. I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it. You're going to have to go through a, a lot. Of course, I say next enemy, and then Tilo opts to take on a Drakey. He's, uh, so, only got three, but we're almost there. Eh, we're getting there. And another Trakima. Yeah, right now, it's a 100-point lead for Tilo, but it can easily be made up. Absolutely. I'm kind of surprised with, uh, what they're fighting and what they can fight. Neither has opted to try and check that, uh, that treasury, or, uh, Hawksness, but that is nasty level right there. Eight, eight, one, two, double more up, Tilo. It's time to start going, and we. And as long as Tilo has, as long as uh, Smashy does not get that seven, Tilo's gonna have quite an advantage. Yeah, we'll see how long Smashy tries to push out with this gold and uh, trying to get armor and weapons versus uh, sitting down and getting this grind. Because as we can see, seven's absolutely the go level. Um, Tilo's gonna have a lot of fun out here blowing things up. Yeah, three times. <laughs> he only gets three shots in the canister, so he has to make those shots count. He needs to find some pretty big targets, and right now, ooh, Tilo might be making the play for a Swamp North, and because those AK-47s are down there, he might be able to. He might be able to at least blow something up if those if those acts if those AK-47s do not um decide to uh inject their rounds with flames and fire yeah the scary thing is even if they don't throw that hurt more out on them um with that 38 hit points and that 18 defense they can absolutely still be one shot easily yeah they can still be uh, speak of the devil there's a hurt more let's see what they do oh that's at least a 50 percenter yeah Tilo's not gonna want to screw with that until he gets more hp yeah, definitely doesn't like to see that, but he got the same new smash he did, so at least he's got the same knowledge now. We'll see what he opts to try here. Yeah, and unlike Sm unlike Smashy, Tilo has spells, so he can go out and about the world real quick and see what's going on. Smashy's gonna have to take gambles. 
yeah, it looks like he has opted to finally start grinding. He's uh, he's starting to head towards the right direction here towards seven, so he should be about uh, another minute or two behind here. Uh oh, Tilo getting brave. He's gonna check Hawksmith, and with Wolf Lords there, that means that's a good amount of experience. Chalk up another 52 for him. Yeah, I love this play. I mean, Hawks is right here. You got hurt more. Why not see if it's an Axe Knight that you can kill real fast? Stone Man, maybe not. Nah, nah you're not gonna touch that. You don't wanna, you don't wanna mess with that. But a Wolf Lord, oh, all day, every day. You put, you put him on fire. Absolutely. Wolf Lord's nice, good value experience here. He can get uh, two or three, depending if he can get away from this golem, and then um, have to reset for his uh, magic, but um, come back and get that level. Yeah, that'd be interesting. And, oh, golems are populating hawks nests. This, this must be the giant's bed that everyone's been talking about. Yeah, I guess that second golem may even think, uh, now nah, I'm, I'm done with this one. We're going to go ahead and get out of here and uh, starts heading south. So we know southwest is a, is a dead end. Southeast is where possibly we need to go, but there's some nasty enemies that way. And TLO's going to get the bad news. You can't go southeast. You're going to go south. You can't go southwest. You're going to have to go southeast. And Smashy just made his level 8, the level 7, so he's on the board. Yeah, I'd expect Smashy to be uh, kind of following in the steps of Tilo. Tilo probably check uh, Hawksness once he's get, made sure he's got his MP together and then um, find out the bad news about that Stone Man and we'll see what he opts to do from there. Yeah. Well, that's if the deputy doesn't send him home. Get in, the pa get in the paddy wagon. You're done. And while we're on the subject, Star Waver sends Tilo home simultaneous home trips. We are now approaching 10 deaths so far. Yeah, Tilo got the unlucky roll with the Hurt More not landing on the Star Wyvern, and um, he paid the price for that one. Yeah, Smash, on the other hand, just saw uh, the deputy and said, yeah, get in the paddy wagon. Yeah, we're not doing that today. Ooh, I just realized something. That swamp might lead to progress. Oh, absolutely. There's a very good chance that swamp leads to to a decent amount. We have to we have to wait and see what they actually can get to on the side here. Well, Steve Smashy decides to try and throw a hurt more here. I kind of thought he was going to. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Smashy tried to hurt more it. Yeah, and he landed the first one, but they're just uh, so weak uh, from defense and so low on HP, one shot away from that stone man. So, unfortunately, sent him home. So, he's going to head back get some more gold. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, 72 more HP, the uh, EXP. We're at level 8 for Tilo. Tilo incoming. Thir Ooh, that's an injection of steroids. That is 30 strength. You don't need to be worried about that shotgun for a little while. You you can punch just about everything in the face that's not from Sherlock. Yeah, that was a fantastic strength level up for sure. Strength's definitely been on their side in this uh, 100%. That's a flame sword and another fire's ring on one level up there. That's insane. Not that they need it quite with that hurt more, but you know, it's nice to know that that's in your pocket once you do have um, something going on. And we have a town. We have a town. Oh, welcome to Kingdom 6. We'll leave the torch lit for you in... Oh! Today's badge number, ladies and gentlemen, we have made the milestone. Today's badge number is number one million. That's right, today's badge number is one million. Put it in chat. Yeah, even with that strength, Red Dragon's not uh, viable for quite a while still. Either is this Blue Dragon, and the Blue Dragon has DL2 breath. Ooh, not only, not only is the deputy hitting hard, he's been blessed by the best dressed man in all the land. Now that's a fight that I don't want to see in Sherlock at all. Or on the swamp tile if we have to go get us the princess. Yeah, exactly. So we see Smashy kind of heading west here. He's going to go through this little, little opening here again. We know it dead ends over this way um, from where he was here earlier. Um, unless he didn't make it all the way to the northwest. Yeah, I think Smashy did find out the bad news, so he's gonna have to fight his way through, but Tilo Tilo already knows the bad news. Going southeast, you will have a chance, there is a chance that you will be facing the police. <laughs> 
Yep, and, and there they are. Hey, get in the paddy wagon. Poltergeist would hurt more as well. Ooh, we're now starting to see some nasty, nasty fights here. I love it. I know our runners, on the other hand, may not be so much. Yeah, we haven't really seen uh, Smashy take advantage of this hurt more yet. He's uh, gone around. He did buy a hand axe. He's picking up more gold again. Um, hasn't hasn't opted to throw it out once since he's got the level still sitting exactly on level seven. Yeah, that is the case. And ooh, we we kind of missed it, but Tilo Tilo has him. Oh, oh, Smashy has himself a hand axe. Ooh, he's armed. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, and once he gets that level 8, I mean, that's going to be some great attack power for sure. Um, especially for, you know, level 8. But um, we'll see if um, Tilo can get through the swamp. He's getting pretty close to the south end here. Neither runner has made it through yet. And there's the problem. And guess what? Oh! They got the sleep as well. That's terrible. Oh, that's horrible. Not only do they have... They got chloroform... And they got flame tip rounds? Oh, that is not a fight you want to see on Whalen. That's not a fight you want to see at Sherlock. You don't today. Today they don't fight. You don't fight them. You don't. You don't break guns today. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. It doesn't seem like sleep's very high, but uh, we got uh, Smashy making it through here. Sees another cave immediately to the east, so we should hopefully uh, have another location checked off here momentarily. Indeed, and right now he's gonna get blocked. He doesn't know he has to hurt more. He might be, he could have he could have taken him down, but eh. looks like we have found the mountain cave, and there's a werewolf. <laughs> Yeah, and Mountain, we already know this top zone is going to be nasty because this is the same one as Swamp. So, uh, yeah, with no more Hurt Moors, he uh, goes ahead and opts out of there. And looks like Tilo took down a Park Ranger, level 9, 2, 9, 11, and a spell. Did not get to see that spell. Stop spell. Ooh, we got ourselves a stop spell. That's not bad. That could, that could help us against, um... That could help us against uh, the AK-47, and looks like Tilo Tilo has finally made it to Kingdom 6. So, that being the case, this is going to be very interesting to see what he does here. Hand Axe is it brought, to, ooh, brought and Flame Sword and Half Plate, ooh, quite the fine. He's just going to go and get the love of the armor though, but now that he knows that's down there, next time he gets sent home, he'll collect up some money and he'll probably get himself a broadsword. Yeah, very possible. Uh, we did see Smashy get in here just shy of where I saw one. He just opted to go with the hand axe and uh, seems content with that now as he's trying to make his way back through the swamp again. Um, Kilo is going to opt to get some fairy waters. Ah, sprinkled the, sprinkled the juice of fairies and Smashy gets sent home again by Stone Man. Stone Man putting in work today. Yeah, this this cave is no joke. Uh, swamp and mountain top, where uh, at least with this current agility are gonna, and current hit points, are going to be very hard for our runners to get get through consistently. Not only just consistently at all in this case. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to see some efficient uh, grinding from Tilo here, or at least efficient exploring. Uh, that fairy water is going to get rid of those. You know, trivial enemies that uh, we really don't want to be seeing at this point. Um, not going to stop you from having to run into a wizard, though. Ooh, white robes are out and about, and... Will he survive this encounter? He does. That's a free 120. Yeah, fantastic fight. Um, great, great job identifying an enemy he can, in theory, beat. He might not 100% of the time kill that, but... Um, definitely can take it on and smashy getting the hero run with 37 agility from an armor knight gets back out again we'll see what he does he's a druid lord he's gonna torch that thing that's gonna be free that's another 58 and looks like teal teal found some skeletons and a specter Ooh, we got some really good dollar items here and a wolf yeah that's what you want to see oh apparently not I think he's just trying to hold on to that um, that MP, find a location he can re-top off on and kind of go from there, um, because there's not a lot of options with this low MP. 
or just go and torch down or try to torch down the uh, the uh, park ranger and get itself 135 and get to level 8 and get that great steroid boost that it's about to get. Yeah, definitely loving to see that 30 for sure. Um, we'll see if he can make it any further over here. Last time we ran into uh, some Sherlock tier enemies and got stopped pretty quickly. Yeah, ooh, there's a Sparkle Bridge. The Oh wait, but that Sparkle Bridge is cursed. It got Swamp on it. Oh, we got another cave here though. Um, we'll see if he can, Never mind. <laughs> uh, that cave is not accessible. Drakima decides to be an opportunist and stab him in the back. Go back home. And um, seeing Tilo walk back into the castle is kind of um, kind of a uh, different. Most most people I think would have opted to this death warp. Uh, don't really need to save the gold. We have two gold chests in the in the treasury here. Um, he hasn't picked up the. He hasn't been in here since he's reset though. He doesn't have the uh, heart yet in his inventory. He does now. Yeah, going to grab that gold. I'll, I, I guess he might be making that play back down the breck, uh, top off that uh, broadsword. That'll probably take him straight through the Urdric sword at that point. That already might be looking at a half play. Ah, half play. Smart man. Get himself some defense. Yeah, half plate's gonna be nice. Uh, tank a little bit more, uh, especially since they're still pretty low on the defense at this point. Um, we'll see what type uh, Tilo decides to go with. If he's gonna go attack or uh, defense here. Smashy is gonna take that gamble, and he's gonna go and take on that Stone Man. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be something to to see here, because if he can not get smacked first. Yeah, yeah, step out. <laughs> yeah, the back attack really hurts a lot here, and um, then he's still going to have to knock off uh, two hurt mores in a row. That's one. Park Ranger, there's a Park Ranger on Tilo's side. Stone Man is down. Boom, nailed it. Nailed it. Good job. And what do we have here in Hawk's Nest? Death Neck. Ugh. That might come into play. I think it has a better chance coming into play being sold and uh, getting something bought with it than uh, our runners using it with that 40 hit points and strength already being in the orange. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Level 10. And looking at what I saw here, 3, 13, 5, 14. That's more shots in the shotgun for Tilo Tilo. For Tilo Tilo. Yeah, definitely a, a bump in the areas they wanted to see. Agility was great. Uh, 22 agility is fantastic. Um, and then that MP jumping as much as it did. And we had 16, uh, or I'm going between the 8 and 10 here, but uh, still agility is looking fantastic. 38 MP now. What he was at 20, 20 something before, I believe. 25. Or 23, but... Now he has seven shots in the tank, but his but his attack power is at 108. This is ludicrous right now at level 10. Yeah, still with uh, the low HP, this blue dragon's not looking very spicy at all. Better chance at running with that agility though, so he absolutely does. They they really need to he really needs to kind of find a mid grade, a mid game enemy both of them do and, and maybe get a couple levels here to get some of that HP MP up before uh, really pushing the rest of this exploration. Well, here's something that is going to be very interesting here. Tilo Tilo is going to go and to Hawksmith to see if he's if he can take down the Stone Man with a double hurt more around. But there might be something to the to the northwest maybe. Because apparently there was something there was something beyond that swamp, but uh, Smashy did not make it. Yeah, last time Smashy was over here, he did find that red dragon. South of here is a dead end, and there's that red dragon again. He gets away from the officer one million, though, so it is what it is.
Well, Teal Teal is going to give this uh, Stone Man a try. We'll see uh, if he can pull off the double hurt more luck. Uh, try and stop spell here. We haven't seen anything from the Stone Man yet that I'm aware of. Yeah, nothing from the Stone Man that's worthy of a stop spell right now. Unfortunately, that stop spell should have been better used on a hurt more, and he gets punched in the schnoz. And Red Dragon is. Oh, looks like the police is. Oh, didn't get his number this time. Good play. Yeah, he's, he's managed to pull off the run a couple times here. He's just shy of level 9. Hasn't found an enemy to get it yet. Does finally go north here, and it continues on. Oh, it opens up. Uh-oh. We may have found some new ground. Lady. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen. You're in for a ride. Level 9. Make it fine, but smashy. Yep, so he gets his level 9 news here, um, has a whole new world to explore for sure. This is wide open, and we got a town. And we have a town in the, in the desert. That is the town of Rimbledar. Welcome to Keysville. Not quite as exciting since we uh, got Keys out the gate pretty much, but uh, we'll find out what's behind this double door here momentarily. In the Holiday Inn, apparently the innkeeper decided she was being superstitious and left the fairy water behind. Yeah, fairy water, definitely not what we're looking for here. Uh, we do have all three major items up here, and we do know there's a gold grind available if either runner does opt to decide to go for it. Funny thing is that Smashy now ups his defense even further. He now has a large shield instead of no shield at all. Yeah, large shield's very nice. Um, we do have that silver shield on tap here if we, we opt to do it, although it's not exactly a free walk up here having to go through that red dragon zone. Yeah, that's going to be... Ooh! Tilo Tilo with... Tilo Tilo stops the uh, AK-47. So, no sleep, no hurt, and and no shots, too. He has broken the AK-47. That's... That might be a play. Yeah, one for one on landing the stop spell. You always like to see that. And he's going to get level 11 with this uh, kill here. Indeed, level 11 incoming. We got two, eight... Oh, 31. We got, now we got ourselves some vitamins. Yeah, all the stats coming along very nicely outside of that MP. Um, doesn't look like he's going to make it very much further here, being out of uh, all resources and getting slept, but um, looking a lot better here at level 11. Yeah, level 11 looking pretty good, but we found Rimmeldar, nothing there, but then there's still more to be explored here, and Smashy is doing a thing here. Yeah, Tilo might have the extra, may have, oh, end of the line. He's at the throat of the world. Yeah, that's always a shame. He, he, he broke through on some exploration in his middle and really pushing for it versus uh, opting for some more experience. And uh, it's just not paying off for him at all. Well, he did find Rimbledar, so he is gonna die and make his way southbound. Stop spell attempt number two on the armor knight, not as successful here, so they definitely have some type of resistance going. Yep, attempt number three, uh, attempt number two on number two, not happening, and now I think you run. Oh, he's gonna go and do a heal more instead. This AK-47 is being rather pessimistic about things. Another one should be the case. Yep, there it is. So, Smashy is now going to go over to the other continent and see if there's anything over there. But, looking at where it's at, it's got to be southeast from where Tangil, Tangil is. So, that's the mall, that is Cole, that is Garenham. There is not a whole lot that's going to be on that second continent outside of Mountain Cave. But, Smashy might be doing a thing with that. Well, Tila Tila finally gets through. He, he had been having lots of struggles with those armor knights getting through. Smashy's made it a couple times now. Uh, we'll see uh, what uh, both runners decide to find. We should have Tila finding Mountain here momentarily. And getting the bad news about Mountain Cave. Well, at least he does have three heal mores. Uh, knows what the enemy set's going to be in here. And maybe gets a little lucky and uh, doesn't run into that armor knight as much. Well, look like he screwed up, and ha, speaking of the AK-47, he's back. 
And he's gonna put him to sleep with some chloroform. And then Smashy walks in immediately, takes one step right into an armored knight as well. This welcoming crew in Mountain is not very nice. Hey, can't get, can't go wrong with that. And ooh, an axe knight outside the gates, and that oh, oh, axe knights with the debilitation. They said no. And we're gonna actually see what's in that cave. I think we're gonna get a Sparko Bridge check first and get this seed validated, but then we'll see what's in this cave momentarily. If there's something in that Sparkle cave, then the Sparkle ground. Oh, I'm waiting for the day that blind Sparkle is gonna be some. And, ooh, Staff of Rain guy. So the Staff of Rain station right there, that's an immediate turn in. Yep, got that harp. Might as well go ahead and change that in while you're here. Um,. Yeah, with the way this tournament's gone and some of the craziness that's going on, I wouldn't be surprised if we do eventually uh, end up having a Sparko Bridge being uh, in play in one of these races. Um, in chat, Cheesy Tots? No, that's actually Ted. Bill's the jerk. But we kind of retired their name, so yeah. <laughs> and Smashy for his troubles gets a Fairy Water in chest one. Ooh, so Smashy does get the first chest. While my partner's going to be keeping informed what's in the mountain cave, I'm going to be taking an eye on Teal Teal and making sure that he doesn't find anything that is worth it. And sprinkle sp Oh, Curse Belt. Oh. It's a search tile, but we already know there's one at least. Oh, Urgent oh. number two. Item number two for him. Oh, that mountain cave is required. Yep. Yeah, downstairs zone definitely a lot friendlier so far than the upstairs zone. I did miss that next chest there. Nah, might have been a key on herb. And right now, Teal Teal has found a Oh, he found a town and a cave. And we found Garenham. All right. Town hall. Town hall. Uh-oh. The police might have something to say about that trip. And sm smashy. He, the devil's luck on him. Yeah, that's his third red dragon uh, run um, in the last five minutes. And money. If he gets sent home, that's a gold grind. Yeah, and, and, and he got the knowledge as well. Because uh, there's a very good chance, you know... On a, any other drive, Tilo getting down here runs into a red dragon right away. He might have multiple abandoned chests and, and an unknown what's left here. So it's nice to be able to get that cleared out while you're in here. It does look like he is looking for that uh, death at this point, walking back and forth. Yeah, he, he's, he's begging for the police to come at him. But he's taking a grind while he's down here, too. Wraith's on being very cooperative. Let's see what's in Town Hall today. In Town Hall, chest number one, we have another bell. Oh, we got another search spot. We got a key. He gets refunded a key. And... <clears throat> Excuse me, game? Was that a sword I saw? Yeah, go find some metal slimes. We're at 135 attack power. And we found a free guy. And free guy is gonna give out some money today. Ooh, a ghetto grind's available. So right now, Tila Tila for his efforts and making it further down, he has gotten himself a sword and he has also found the jerk. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, Tilo definitely nailing down a lot of these spots. We got Smashy uh, over here doing that gold grind. We'll see if he opts to do the full grind or if um, he wants to opt out of any of those items. But he does know all three are available in Remolder, so we might see the, the full 32-3. And, and that'll help him out significantly. But he's going to have to make his way further south. He has to make it to Garenham. Because Garenham has his sword. 
Oh, absolutely. And I think once he gets kitted out here, uh, we definitely will see a lot more expiration. Um, he's getting really close to 11, and we know 11 makes expiration that much more simple, we'll say. Um, so, And he's already been pushing it, so we'll see that along here shortly. But we're moments away from level 12 on Tilo's side. Yeah, and looks like... Ooh, Tilo found a very good spot. He's taking wolves like it's going out of style. That is level 12. Let's see what we got today. On the menu for level 12, 1, 8, nada, 5 and a spell. Spell of Radiant. So at this point, Cole and the Mall of Cantlin is missing. And we do have another search spot. So we don't know if Cole has something or if we gotta get coordinates at Cantlin. But either way, those two towns need to be found now. Yep, that's definitely going to be top priority for him. Uh, we do have a uh, tablet still outstanding, correct, as well? Tablet and grave. Yep, and grave. I had that marked below my arm. Um, so, yeah, those are definitely, uh, those two search areas are definitely a high priority here. Um, that level is kind of trivial, but we'll see if he can get out here and find them. Well, it looks like he's looking pretty good, and Smashy will be saving, so he's saving... He's gonna make the trip to he's gonna make the perilous trip to to uh, Rimoldar or Rimolder. Tomato tomato, let's call the whole thing off. And yeah, there's not much else over here. It, well, except a star waver. Roast it down, get yourself 105. Yeah, opting to use those herbs trying to conserve that last bit of MP as he's out here in the unknown areas. Oh, okay, so from what I'm seeing here, southeast is where... Well, maybe not, because deep hitting in the village, hidden within the swamp... Yeah, I made a Naruto joke. What of it? One of our two towns is here. <laughs> Welcome to the mall. Yeah, Cantlin, a decent find here. Um, going to go ahead and get him a large shield. And uh, we do have Smashy running from another red dragon. Uh, got one just outside Rim, though. We'll see if he can get away from this one. He's gonna try to heal more first, and then he's gonna try to make a run for it. Mm, not this time. Yep, immediate reset. We'll see him uh, try to take this perilous, jour perilous journey again. And now we know that there are two zones with red dragons on the way up there. So this isn't going to be very... Whoa, 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 whoa. Five north, f five north, four east, right outside your doorstep. There's something? Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta Same. love it. You gotta love the five that's four. Th that's free. Welcome to the five four. Yeah, the football terms. Oh, yeah. It's setting up onto the five four. Outside your doorstep, Erdrick, you're lazy today. This is a lazy Erdrick today. At, at least let's hope it's just fairy flute then, and um, and not something that we actually need. I'm I'm putting money on either the stones of sunlight or Erdrick's armor. One of those two. I'm putting money on it right now. Smashy on uh, round three of trying to get out here with his cash. We'll see if uh, the third time's a charm in his uh, in his game. It looks like the it looks like the uh, police has uh, got a warrant out for his arrest for um, handling far too much money. Uh, probably robbed a bank or something. And yet another red dragon. They are very heavy over here. There's reset and try number four. And all this time we just have Tilo getting more experience. Uh, more exploration, closer to to where we need where we need to go. The only thing that uh, Smashy has outside of Tilo is what knowledge is in Mountain and getting that token and uh, the location of Rim, which we absolutely know doesn't matter. Yeah, right now Tilo is in the driver's seat in game one, and if he continues doing if he continues doing what he's doing right now, I don't see this looking any bet any worse for wear. But he, but Cole's still outstanding, so, ooh, there's a cave. That's got to be the grave. Absolutely grave. He was facing south, so he'll uh, radiant up, and uh, we'll get at least the top three check. We'll see if he opts to do the full. We'll see if he does the full, the, yeah, we'll see if he does the full one here. 
and uh, Wraith Knight's not giving him any grief. And we got Smashy Ghoul and Full Tin Cup over here. I think we're on attempt six at this point. Um, this has been a huge time sink at this point between getting the money from the grind and just repeatedly ramming his head into a red dragon. All right, dragon scale and the key on the first two chests of the grave. The third, uh, a little bit of a little bit of fairy water, and on the third one, oh, all three are available. All three. Oh, Tilo has information that Smashy does not. Smashy is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Advantage, Tilo. Yeah, there's three three special items left, two of which are in these two spots here. I'm not quite sure I agree with this dive at this point, knowing that he's got a, a, a stronger chance at those two spots being what he needs. But hey, you 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 don't want to you don't want to uh, take a bad chance and not have something here. And Teal understanding that, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to run, but I do have the defense to fight him. I'm gonna go fight him, and yeah, he beats the police. 255, make it fine. And Teal Teal is gonna be taking. It looks like he's not afraid of the police, so he's gonna be doing some police brutality in the future. Absolutely, he's in a perfect place to be able to to, to take them down in three swings very very regularly here, barring any misses. So. Um, no reason to not swing through and take that free 255 at that point. And Smashy makes it to Rimmeldar despite despite wasting the last five minutes hitting his head on the police. Yeah, so he'll get rewarded with a bunch of defense here. He'll get the best sword that money can buy. Um, we know that the uh, regular sword that is much better is just around the corner. He's just got to get out there and find it. Number four is empty, by the way. Yeah, nothing in number four, probably a key. So right now, if Tilo finds armor in the grave, this is huge. The end because and because Smashy hasn't been on that side of the world yet, this could be a huge problem. Yeah, we'll see if uh something can kind of turn this around for Smashy, but he is definitely uh he's definitely facing a, a big hole to try and overcome at this point. Right now, I'm thinking Smashy is... Yeah, Smashy is 1,900 experience down. Yeah, and that's huge at this point. Um, we got Tilo about to finish out the grave. Uh, looks like it was double herb to finish out since he had to spend the key to get down here. So, uh, turned out to be nothing. Uh, does opt to just outside instead of trying to death warp, although I don't know that there was much in the way of enemies. We do have the big C. Oh, the big C club C is decided in the swamp. So, that, uh, so now the hunt for the armor is more than necessary now because this swamp is not something you want to be digging through to go to the club. Yeah, exactly. He's got the knowledge of where it's at. Um, he's probably hoping that maybe... Oh, there is a town over here. I can't remember if this was one we already saw. Cantlin. So that's great. He's got a nice refill spot right next to it, at least then, um, at minimum. And uh, just really got to find coal, get back, see what that overworld spot is. Maybe wrap up all his exploration at that point. Yeah. Smashy is going to need to go northeast from where he is, northwest from where he, he leaves out of that mountain cave because right now, Tilo is at a huge advantage in exploration. The only thing he does not have knowledge of is what's in that mountain cave. Oh, there's another cave here, though. That's got to be Tablet. Yep, this'll this will be our last outstanding item here. Um, you're already way out here. Might as well go ahead and do it. You got outside. We can be done here in a moment and uh, at least have all your I's dotted and T's crossed. Uh, by God, that's Tablet. Let's see what Erdrick left in his grave this time around because this is going to be big or not. Money. That's okay. We can always take a little bit more money. That's, that's more Cantlin money. And wow, this is looking pretty sketch. I think right now what Tilo's trying to do is he's trying to find coal. Yeah, he's out here pretty far at this point. Um, it absolutely makes sense. Tilo knows that Cole's gonna have something. He knows where that oh. is though. He found coal. 
You found it. It's, it's, wow. It is well out the way. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found coal, but a level 13 patila Tilo. Two, five, 12, not a single MP. So we're still looking pretty sketch on MP, but right now at level 13, we are at Dragon Lord smack him in the face level right now. Yeah, we're literally just looking for, you know, we would like a little bit more hit points. Um, even though we are good to go there, so to speak, uh, we definitely would like some more MP or we're going to need a big extra strength buffer to, to get us to six heal mores. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need we, we also kind of want to need a little bit more defense right now. That DP, yeah, um, Dragon Lord's hitting us for fifty two right now, fifty two to fifty three. What a what a bad what a bad swing. Well, and that's with half plate, so we, we'll have uh, we'll have Erdrick's armor and be adding a good chunk of defense once that does get found here, and we may even be finding that momentarily. Ah, uh, welcome to the spa. So take get yourself some Myri Spring, go down to the bath, and oh, nailed it. Hey, the pyramid is dead, folks. The pyramid is dead. Yeah, so now there's a very high probability the overworld spot right back by start is going to have our stones. Um, or I think it has to be. We've cleared everything now at this point, haven't we? Yeah, at this point, the stones is at home. <laughs> so, that being the case, Fairy Flute, uh, we're orphaning that today. And sm all Smash she needs to do is get at is not is just literally go northwest he'll get his armor and he just needs to go southwest he has to go south what south east and he'll find him and he'll find his sword but he's behind the eight ball he has to find a good grind spot Tilo, on the other hand has his stuff he pretty much knows where everything's at and i forgot smash he does not know where the stones are at he doesn't get the he didn't get the coordinates yet yeah, but um, if he, well, he's heading up towards Cole right now. Uh, we know Cantlin was just back to the south there. He just needs to walk just a little bit high. There he goes. He sees Cole. He'll have armor momentarily. That's if he doesn't get stopped. Yeah, he's, he's looking pretty good right now at level 11 here. Um, should be able to take on anything he runs into as long as it ain't too many of them. What about the police? <laughs> Uh, he's pretty beefy from a defense perspective here and does have that flame sword. So I, I have faith in him getting past the police with two heal mores in his back pocket. Might even get level uh, 12 before he gets there. Um, Jakima saying you're going to have to work for that level 12, but Tila Tila's going to that mountain cave. He, he He's definitely doing a... Wait, is he not going to mountain cave? Oh, never mind, he is. Ooh, deputy. <laughs> yeah, as long as he doesn't have anything... Uh, yeah, never mind there. He's got something. Oh, and remember, the deputy has been blessed as well. Good. Oh, no. This is going to be a nasty deputy here. Yeah, this is painful. It didn't breathe, block, and... Oh, that is terrible. So, like, two, three steps away from armor and just... Oh, that's, that's just god-awful, man. Um, hopefully he heads straight back because we definitely know he needs to get there. Uh, as one man would say, that coffin is about to get nailed. Where's my hammer? <laughs> yeah, every once in a while you watch a race like this and, and just everything the one runner does goes in their, their favor with RNG. The way they explore goes their, their way. Um... And in this case, it's definitely playing out that way for Tilo Tilo so far. Smashy running into Red Dragon after Red Dragon, finding that useless rim that just really cost him seven and a half minutes upon instant replay of the gold grind and trying to get that armor and sword and shield, uh, which we know Tilo will never find um, at this point. Yeah, Tilo Tilo's probably not gonna find that. That he's never gonna go and he's never gonna get that silver shield. He's not going up that direction. I can tell you that right now. That, that exploration that had that silver shield, Tilo is never going to find it. He, he knows where the stones are at. He now got his token. He, th there's not much else to say. He, he The game is now in his pocket. And remember, to get the Sherlock, he has to go to the swamp. So he's going to check that swamp tile, too, to see if it's grindable. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we should, I, w I would definitely expect that um, here within the next three or four minutes, um, we should have everything um, homework-wise wrapped up for Tilo. 
um, once he gets this last chest, just wants to make sure everything's checked here because it could potentially be the flute on the overworld and the, and the uh, stones in here. Yeah, but we already know that the stones are the stone uh, by process of elimination. The stones are on the search tile, so. Oh yeah, I know. We know. He doesn't. Good point. So while we're gonna be ch while we see him fumbling in Mountain Cave and Smashy trying to make his way back over to Cole, and the police stopping them all on the way, the question in chat that I always ask. What's in your cup as we go to level 14? 2, 1, 1. <laughs> now that's that's a terrible level right there. Um, absolutely nothing uh, of note whatsoever. Uh, clearly makes 15 a, a requirement at this point. You, you hate to see it. Yeah, you really hate to see it. And Smashy finally gets himself a red. And I got my red drink and my olive drink in hands. I am ready for the drink. So again, chat. What's in your cup? Ursan with the water. Underdog with the water. Seltzers. Oh, strawberry spikes with cheese and tops. Again, it's for Tataru. <laughs> so, uh, DK, what's in your cup if you're drinking anything tonight? I have an empty cup of water right now. With, like, maybe one drop left. <laughs> oh, you gotta refill your cup, good sir. <laughs> There we go, Smashy getting the cold this time uh, successfully. So he's going to get his armor pick up, be a little more excited here, and hopefully start heading south towards where we know everything else is at. Indeed. And right now, Tilo Tilo is... Nani? Casting a stop spell. Ah, he misclicked. He'll be having an outside. Outside the castle he goes. Okay, so he knows the coordinates. So I think he's going to refill on magic real quick just because he can, and he's going to do that quick count. <laughs> Absolutely. Do that quick count. Um, have everything in play. Uh, just needs to change that out for the jerk and uh, basically check that uh, tight spike tile down here in Swamp, and um, those are going to be our two main items at this point. Indeed. So, here we go. Up, I think he went a little too he didn't go far enough. On the ground, it is the stones of sunlight in the desert. So now he's gonna go and find himself a hawk's nest. Oh, is he gonna be beating down a stone man for his grind? I hope not. Well, we'll see if he does opt to go this route. Um, it's a known versus an unknown, but we know <laughs> hurt more in sleep. Yeah, hurt more in sleep. On a stone man? Wait, stone man and hurt more in sleep? I thought that was I oh, thought wait. that was the that was the armor knight. My bad. That was a that was AK four that was AK forty seven. We've seen so many of them. I just assumed they're everywhere at this point. Stone man with an ambush for twenty four, and he's gonna smack the stone man in the face for fifty three. Ooh, love to see it. Love to see it. Double smack in the face. Triple smack. He is three shot and oh, for 155. This might be lucrative. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's almost always going to be a three shot if this attack power, unless you roll low three swings in a row. Um, he's got the defense to withstand, do a heal more afterwards. Um, it's just a stone man and man a stone man grind. Just I really hate a stone man grind. I don't think anybody likes a stone man grind. To say the truth. So we got Smashy, he is uh, in Grave right now, is going to go ahead and opt to go in full clear. We know he's going to go downstairs and either get two herbs or two empty chests, depending on how his inventory currently stands. Alright, so we're, you know, we're, we're approaching level 15 for Tilo Tilo here. Uh, we're not terribly far away. Um, you know, eight more uh, stone men here counting this guy. Um, while Smashy's got a lot of homework to do and just shy of 3,000 behind in experience. Yeah, about 20, yep, about 2,800. Sorry about that, my internet decided to uh, seize up, but yeah, we're going to be doing a bit of a grind here.
Hey, good after good evening, uh, P P U P U P U. It'll be curious uh, to see uh, what kind of decisions uh, Tilo decides to do if we get a borderline level here. I've been trying to think about that myself. Uh, Sherlock enemies haven't been particularly terrible outside of that Armor Knight, and that Armor Knight's nasty. No, you forgot the blessing of the the blessing of the deputy. Yeah, but uh, 86 agility. I'm not honestly uh, between armor and having 86 agility. I'm not too concerned about those. I'm gonna, unless I'm beta strap luck, I'm gonna be running more often than not from them. Um. By the way, to let people know, uh, yeah. Uh, 7,500, next uh, level for Kilo is 7,500, then it's going to be 9,750, but yeah, the story of the match today, though, has been Smashy taking a lot of deaths trying to get the best stuff that money can buy, while Tilo just decided, no, I'm just going to do the typical grind and fine, and has been very, very good about it. Smashy now going to get his coordinates and know that that is close to home, but he's got his work cut out for him. He is 3,000, oh, 3,300 down, and the lead is growing. Yeah, I think uh, a good news thing for Smashy here, um, although it's going to take a, a, you know, a couple, probably two failed dives at the rate we're moving here for him to be able to get back into this, is, uh, oh, let's get level 15 real fast with uh, six strength, zero agility, 20 more hit points, and two magic. Ooh, that hit point that we're looking at death necklace. It's getting close to being viable. I still don't feel that the runners are going to opt to use it. Uh, we're into that, you know, two or three double range at this point, um, which really puts some fuzzy math on uh, on what's viable to do in the dive here. Right now, we're looking at 11 to 22 right now for Tilo Tilo on the best dressed man in all the land. And he's going to go home, so he's going to go to 97.50 for his next grind. So hopefully he'll check that. Thing. He'll see a much more lucrative grind in Swamp. Yeah, um, like I have my regular calculations and then I have my I'm behind really badly calculations and my really behind calculation says that I can theoretically do this but I don't I wouldn't like doing this at all um this is not a uh, Tilo Tilo I would say this is not a level I would go in not at all yeah we'll see I'm kind of curious I'm hoping he opts to check the spike tile down here see what we got down here um and at least take one more level to make it safe he's way ahead obviously he doesn't know that he's way ahead but um He's got plenty of time to make this a lot safer. Oh, there it is. And... <laughs> oh, the rocks all over the place. The only difference is that the rocks here are just outside his doorstep. He doesn't have to go very far. He can just exit out, go heal, do it again, I guess. And it's it's probably um, a slightly further walk when you factor in having to walk all the way around through Tantagel and down the outside. Um, and it's a little more dangerous knowing what those armor knights can bring to the table and that they're in here. Well, that is a thing. And Smashy has found... I don't think he found Garenham yet. Yeah, he's uh, heading into uh, what we know is the jerk here. Um, shy of a stones, which he has the cords for, just hasn't picked up yet. Yeah, he's at Gar I think he's at Garenham now, so he should be getting his sword right now. Yep, that's absolutely correct. Um, and then um, we'll see if he can wrap up this homework and start getting busy. Um, still, still a big hole to dig out of here. We'll see what happens here, though. Uh, especially, especially with a couple, a couple nasty enemies in play in Sherlock. Uncertainty about what's in there. Um, anything can happen. Still. Indeed, and we have not seen much. We haven't seen much of what the the uh, the police have. Right now, the police are very content on beating people with their batons, but. We don't know what the golem has, because apparently the golem, more often than not, we've ran from them right now. Absolutely, and uh, 
the the handle a couple of questions to chat is this the best of match it absolutely is we're in a best of three um it's kind of hard to see but on either side of the clock are uh unlit medals right now oh there's one that just kind of flashed so uh once a winner gets a uh, runner gets a win we'll highlight one of those so that we can key in that they've already won one of the races but yeah it's a best of three uh here on out and uh we're in match one of this semi-final <laughs> Right now, Smashy will be getting his sword. It's about time. So now he got his sword. Now he can now he can start playing his catch up. That's a Kaishin for Atilo. Not enough to put down that stone man, but it is enough to get him to walk out. Free man cave. Freebie cave only had money. That's what I remember that one. So I think Smashy has uh, Tilo has time for one more stone man right now. Then he's gonna deuce out of there, go get some healing, and then, well, yeah, yeah deuce out of there, go, go recharge, then. Alright, right now, this grind is really good for him. Yeah, clearly Stoneman is, 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 is the key. 142 critical gold right there, almost the max. Oh, he's gonna test his luck. He's gonna press his luck and beat him down again, I guess. He's pretty close. He's got another humor in the tank here, and honestly, at this point, you just opt to take the death warp anyway. I don't know. He, he, he still wants to press his luck, I guess. Go ahead. It's not like he needs anything else. It's not like he's gonna get a silver shield up in Rimbledar right now. Yeah, exactly. That's definitely off the table here. Smashy found his uh his uh pseudo return, uses the fighter's ring to make sure this red dragon can send him home. He's gonna get his overworld item momentarily and then walk right back where he just was. Yeah, not the play I would make, because he's now fourth. Forty-four but uh, no forty five hundred down. We have seen races we have not seen a race yet, at least this summer, that somebody's been down forty five hundred. Grind and win. This is a tall order for Smashy. I think this is insurmountable. Yeah, it, it. I think nothing's insurmountable, but it's extremely unlikely that he can make this back. Um, it would have to be like a heavy red dragon armor knight laden Sherlock on multiple floors, getting back attacked, slept and wrecked type situation to, um, to make this. Um, you know, unless. For whatever reason, Tilo decides to try going on a very borderline, maybe level 16, um, and has repeated fails as a result of not having enough MP. You know, it's all it's all in the air still, but yeah, I don't I don't see a scenario that Tilo doesn't win at this point. Yeah, Tilo seeing an AK-47, he's just gonna smack it in the face. He's not even gonna bother wasting spells. Oh no, he'll, he'll waste that heal. That hurt more, and that'll oh. Fight fire back said the AK forty seven. That's seventy to one seventy two. That isn't that is not quite level. Yeah, just shy. So he's gonna have to take on one more spin man, but gets the excellent move. Uh, not quite enough to one shot it, but he's gonna take it down with the second swing. We'll see sixteen momentarily, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sixteen the proper level. Here we go. He's been promoted. One fourteen six and a spell. Again, a large hit point, but no MP. At this point, though, what do you do? Do you dare go down at 57? Probably not. Absolutely. This is definitely winnable. Um, he just he can't be blowing things on the way there. Um, but this is exactly the scenario right here. Tries to run from an armored knight, gets slept. And potentially wrecked. We'll see if no wakes up with five left, tries to run, doesn't heal more, and will die. So this is a scenario he cannot have happen to him once he does dive Charlotte. Yeah, he cannot have that AK-47 put him to sleep because he does not have the resources. He needs to keep every bit of that resource down there. Right now, looking at the numbers right now, we're looking at 11 to 22 right now, meaning averaging what? Anywhere from, 
let's see, 11, da, 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 da. We're looking at about averaging 17, 16, 17. So about 10 swings. Oh yeah, definitely. 10 swings, uh, although we are having, or at least I'm having some stream issues right now. Oh, uh, well, it's not just me then. Yeah, but uh, 10 swings, uh, 7 heal mores. Um, we have minimal attacks, so we should get, I would say, at least one double, a good chance for two, though, with that much HP. Um, I like the thought of not using a death necklace here. Right now, we're having a little bit of technical issues on our end, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we're still able to see from the stream over here, and Tilo is going to make his way over to Sherlock. Yeah, and Smashy settled down into his grind on that uh, that Stone Man there in Hawksness, which we know is the only grind available. Yep. So... We gotta reset real quick. Oh, there we are. And, oh, we walked right into a Red Drago. Oh, the police one mil. And he takes it down. Okay. So, Tila, unless Tila wants to grind for level 17, which is 12,000, I don't know about that. Yeah, swinging through Red Dragons is not a, a bad call here. He's got 134 HP. He's taking them down reliably in three swings. Um, unless he's running into him back to back and can heal up on the walk uh, as he makes his way to uh, Sherlock. He is going to give up his homework, so his homework is done. Yep, I expect to see him uh, run up the... Well, he might even stop here, but probably run up the Cantlin, uh, top off, make sure he's got a little bit of everything, and then um, head on in. Yeah, he's going to have to... <laughs> and... Going to get the jerk and then make your way northbound from there is such a, such a drag. That's eh, kind of all right there. He's, he's already got it on his screen here. We know Sherlock's just off screen to the northeast there. Um, turns around and keeps walking, though. I guess he uh, wants to maybe grind a little more. I'm not sure. He's trying to grind over here, but uh, they says repel. He's not getting anything here. Up oh, there's next night, and the accent trying to stop spelling. That's gonna be free. That's free right there. Yeah, I've walked around for a minute. Maybe he was thinking he's. Pretty close to 12,000 with a few Axe Knights, but wasn't getting good encounter rates. Goes ahead and kills that one, but does go ahead and run inside. He's finding some fairy water so he can throw on some repels, although he will only be repelling wizards, so I'm um, not sure how effective that'll be, but we'll see. Yeah, that's the case. Yeah, it got a little, got a little stuttering on my end, but yeah, it looks like Smashy. Well, it looks like Teal Teal is gonna go up to Sherlock. Yeah, definitely looks that way. Uh, we should uh, get our first sight here in a moment. Uh, we'll see how bad or good this is for him uh, momentarily. We do have Smashy getting level 15, so um, he he's gonna catch up here fairly rapidly. We'll see if he he does immediately start grinding again. So he might either not feel behind or. Um, just absolutely does not feel comfortable with 15 one two. Well, there goes the bus, and he's not going to stick around for that fight. Yeah, definitely don't want to see those blue dragons, um, but with, like I said, with that 87 agility, he's going to be running more often than not, um, can tank one of those DL2s if he does happen to, to fail at the run, so... Not too concerning there. Definitely just wanting to not see things that are red. Yeah, right now he does not need to see an axe or the color pink. Because if that is the case, he is definitely going to go down, down, down. Well, looks like maybe Tila's going to try and uh, 
hit on some of these lower level enemies. Uh, Star Wizard did have heal more, but he just swings on through it and takes it on. He's just shot, just the, just under 1300 away from the next level. Yeah, continuing his dive here, we know Axe Knights are fairly free. They're very uh, frequently throwing the stop spell. Um, Shamey didn't kind of run into those a little more frequently here so far. Yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, it looks like the Axe Knights are easy picking. So outside of that stop spell, it looks like that's not going to be a, that's not going to be a thing for Tilo. Yeah, I'm I'm just really wanting to hit, uh, level 17 if he does end up getting it to kind of troll him a little. Let's let's have a little fun here. Let's get like a, a triple zero 25 or something and uh, give him that MP that he can't use. Yeah, right now he cannot use that MP because if he tries, it's not gonna be good. And golems are starting to and golems starting to show their faces now. Yeah, at this at this level though, Tilo doesn't really care about them golems. He's just gonna he's just gonna run away right away. Um, getting down to the third floor of the second zone and um, making good work of a uh, good time here. Now that he has opted to stop fighting, and honestly, he's been getting a really long hero walk here. He's going into the U hallway. He's still got to go to the grand gallery, and he oh he's taking the star waver. So another star waver in there. So he's gonna take that fight. Yeah, someone did mention in chat, Smash, when Smashy does go down to uh, take his uh, take his dive, he's gonna be if it ain't a, if it ain't an Axe Knight or better, he's he's gonna be able to repel that. So he won't be seeing these Star Wavers, he won't be seeing werewolves, he won't be seeing green dragons, and he will not be seeing uh, wizards. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, while if. Tilo can make it there with full stats. Um, he's going to be a, a, a very big favorite, in my opinion. Uh, it's definitely not a guarantee. So, I mean, we could absolutely see Smashy right behind him on uh, a second dive for Tilo. Yeah, but not when Smashy literally blew that fight. So he still has, he still got a little ways to go. And right now, past the main gallery, we're on the dance floor. Tilo is now about to approach the bouncer, and that's a stone man. Yeah, and Aaron asking for 17 to just give 60 MP. I think that's asking a little too much. That's why I said 0, 0, 0, 0025. I was trying to keep it a slight bit more realistic. Yeah, this is... This is not going... This is... Kind of losing sinister there, um, but uh, yeah, opting to run here. I think he got a little lower on HP than he was liking um, back on the U floor or on the horizontal floor, and just opted to go ahead and um, stop doing that. Blue dragon, not exactly what he wanted to see, but was able to battle through it really quickly, and we will see the dragon lord here momentarily. Ooh, the best dressed man in all the land, but werewolf stopping him real quick, and he's gonna use an herb. And it's gonna to talk to him. He's gonna be offered half the world and be called a fool because he declined such an offer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the best dressed man in all the land, Dragon Lord. Taps and stop, stop spell, that is a free turn. Another smack. Dragon Lord just does a minus swing for 12. That's another attack. Game, set, big guy. Here that was we go. a fantastic Dragon Lord one fight. And he gets the first swing, 14 on the menu. That's another swing. Another 14, 24, 35, that's another swing. Opening that's triple. 20. He gets a triple, and that triple amounted to, ooh, a lot. <laughs> so right now, we're looking at 70 right now. Don't miss me, dude. This is this is almost free at this point. I I don't know that he could even lose. Ninety. One eight. One oh eight. One 
126. One thirty eight. Outside of a miss menu, I think Teal Teal got this. One thirty nine or one forty nine, don't matter which. Last heal, last heal more. But next two swings should be enough. There it is. Get your GGs in chat. Tilo Tilo is victorious, and he's our winner for game one. He got that glowing ball of light, the disco ball, and he's gonna return home with it. Kind of curious to see what Smash Smashy's diving here. He's on sixteen as well. Um. See how smooth this dive goes for him. Sharlock seemed very straightforward. We saw, at least on Tilo's side, none of them red enemies at all. Um, and remember, one of the big differences here is Smashy um, took seven and a half minutes to set up that gold grind that Tilo ultimately did not do. Um, and that might fall within the range here. And we got an official race time of one hour, 20 minutes, 24 seconds. Again, get your GGs in chat. We're going to see you about an interview. So while we're waiting to see what Smashy is doing right now, yeah, this has been one of the low MP rolls we've had recently. Yeah, um, especially earlier in the in the tournament, MP was really the lagging stat in several races. It seemed to kind of settle down here as of late, but uh, it reared its ugly head again tonight. Um, luckily for these runners, they didn't have to really rely on it too too much. Strength just rocketed right out of the gate and continued right uh, right on up through all the levels there, making it, you know, something they could overcome between that and the hit points. Indeed. So level 16 was the level, despite having not the MP to do it. So... Exactly, and, and I've seen a lot of discussion about the colorization of these uh, stats here, so the kind of touch on that is green, green typically means that it's go. It's it's typically we're ready for the Dragon Lord fight. Um, orange means it's kind of borderline, maybe dependent on other stats, and white typically means that we need something more here. But all of that has to be taken with a grain of salt, and you have to look at the whole picture here, and that's exactly what Tilo and Smashy have both done. They've looked at the whole picture, saw level 16 has enough of other stats to offset that really poor MP stat, and as we see, it was absolutely winnable at 16. Indeed, very winnable at 16. And we have a Tilo here. Congratulations, you have finished your run. You are you struck first in the semifinal match. How are you holding? Um I'm I'm very happy. Um This is um Smashy is an extraordinarily good player and uh this is the least confident I have been about my ability to get a win this far in the tournament. Uh even having played pretty good competition, uh this is the one I was I was quite nervous about. But uh I felt good with the way the seed unfolded, outside of some bad luck in the Swamp Cave. Uh, I Everything kind of... I, I think I did things in a good order and feel like uh, I was able to get around some of the roadblocks uh, without too much difficulty, and it just kind of... Uh, it felt pretty smooth for me. Well, funny thing happened during, one, during the escapade. Uh, Smashy decided to go and do a gold grind because he found Rimbledar and it had Flame Sword, Magic Armor, Silver Shield. But it took him seven minutes to get that money to the north end of that first continent. You didn't bother finding Rimbledar, and as a result, you had seven minutes up on him. Especially with the level of experience, the experience lead and everything else under the sun, so... That mainly was the telltale story. That and that and a and a blue dragon stopped him, stopped him right before Cole, having him to go back to make that same perilous journey to get his armor a second time. So, oof. That yeah, and I didn't actually. I'm not. I never actually. Uh, I I'd seen two blue dragons before Sherlock, 
and both of them I ran away from first turn. So I was unaware, you know, I started going to Charlock originally thinking, hey, I'm just going to swing my way up to 17, just in case they give me any little extra safety, uh, because I was a little worried about, you know, potentially armored knights and Charlock costing me a heal more. Now, it turns out that was the most... E that was the most gentle Charlock I've gone through in ages, so uh, no no level needed, but the... Uh, but, but the first thing I saw when I got there was a blue dragon, and I swung, and it moved threw higher breath at me, I went, oh, well, look at that, something actually is dangerous here, other than the armored knights, but, uh, again, they're pretty easy to run from at that point, but yeah, I can see, if you don't have the armor and you're right there, that can, that could definitely uh, set you back quite a ways. Yeah, funny thing about that, um, Smashy is gonna go and, oh, he gets a back attack, this might complicate things a little bit, because you ended up with a triple starting out. Smashy's only gonna get the one. Yeah, I went with the triple starting out. I mean, it, it, for my numbers, you want to get 11 swings in. And he, you know, we've got, what, seven heal wars? So you need a couple of doubles in the whole process uh, to to get there, especially now that he's done that. But it looks like he's gonna get at least his first double right here. So uh, he's he's a little bit of the ways there. I, I I'm not sure I actually managed a double except for the opening triple. Uh, so, if he can get a couple of doubles, it might he, he'll be he'll be okay. But we'll see. Um, you had a double near the end, actually. Oh, did you I? Had, yeah, you had an opening triple and a closing double because you went to your last heal more and then you doubled and then you doubled up and took him down. You was you was in, you was poised to get a triple. So, oh, okay, I got yeah. You. Like right now, you also didn't low roll. You did you rolled either. No, my rolls were roll. my rolls were very nice. I I will not argue that. I, my rolls, rolls were, were my rolls were so nice. I was thinking I would get a chance to potentially try to one turn to try to throw an actual swag more and see what happens. See if I could keep the the, the, the excitement going on that happened earlier in the tournament, but. uh... I did not hit that number, or I I, I, I was uh, one, uh, or I was just slightly under from what I could do there. So, but it looks like he got the Dragon Lord about the same spot I did. So, GG Smashy. Yeah, get those GGs out for Smashy. We'll get an official time here, but uh, does do it with one bonus swing left, and he finishes in a official race time GG of one twenty seven oh nine. Yeah, get your GGs out in chat. Smashy raced a valiant race, but he's going to be playing from behind. He's he's right now down a game to Tilo Tilo, and Tilo's looking pretty good right now. So, Tilo, one thing, you've managed to get your first win against the Cinderella Slayer right now, because Smashy had to take down Cinderella after Cinderella after Cinderella to get to this point, and a lot of them were some big-name Cinderella's. The one that slayed Zarnax, the one that took down Nescard. So I was the one who got the one that took down Nescard. Not Smash. <laughs> oh, you was the one that took down Nescard's uh, Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, exactly. I've I've gotten to go through the Cinderella story too because I've gotten, uh, you know, I've gotten two other twenty seeds that I've played against as well. I haven't, uh, you know, I, this is the first time I've been the underdog uh, by seed at least in in these races and you know rightfully so because in general smashy is a better player than i am and that's not humility i think the numbers bear that out <laughs> so uh i'm i'm very content very happy to at least be able to uh you know get get one win out i'm not uh you know i'm certainly not comfortable with this but uh i i'm i'm happy I can say this right now. Winner here will be the will be the king of Cinderella killers because your next task may be another Cinderella. As the tops, the other end of that bracket, there's still a Cinderella still playing on the other side. Yeah, I was actually wondering if uh, I, I was actually imagining if uh, you know, obviously Smashy Smashy had no time for Cinderellas this tournament and was like, no, no, I'm moving on. Uh, but had he managed to get upset by Asmati, then I would be able to make it all the way to the finals without ever having been the lower seed. Uh, he did not, so now I have to, uh, you know, I guess punch up, so to speak. Although, again, seeds at some point don't mean a whole lot, but 
I will definitely say, uh, like I said, the numbers will bear out that Smashy is a substantially better racer than I am on average. So I'm I'm very happy. Speaking of which, hello there, Smashy. Welcome to the booth. A little bit of a rough time middle way through. How you holding up, boss? Who put that red dragon there right in front of Rimmeldar? <laughs> you can blame our restreamer for that one. <laughs> yeah, I think the majority of the seven minutes I lost was that red dragon snipe and then me trying to get back up there and suddenly here come all the red dragons. It's just like... I'm not even sure if this is worth it anymore because I wanted that gear because there was just um, Sherlock's here everywhere and I'm if I have to say any seed that I'm weak at those seeds were Sherlock tears everywhere and I just can't go without dying it's just like I wish to explore but everything is so powerful well, I hate to say it, but um, you might want to give your complaints out to the precinct that had Officer 1 million, because that was a milestone. Our first seven-digit badge, and he made sure to put his work in tonight. Yeah, there there was a death outside Cole. Cole that was kind of an own goal on that one. I was trying to get the level, and I was like, oh, hey, Blue Dragon, and then I... I had forgotten about 45 minutes later that they had DL2 breath. I got about halfway through and saw the Heelmore and then, like, Heelmore and what? Oh, wait a minute. Don't these things have DL2 breath? Oh, yeah. DK, we forgot about that. Um, the deputies had Heelmore, so they had they took the freaking police's donuts and decided to go and get some. <laughs> Yeah, luckily for the runners, uh, both of them had good luck with them on the spike in Sherlock. But yeah, that that cold death was also a nasty one, you know, just right in sight of what we knew was armor at the time and had to go all the way back. It was easy to avoid it in the uh, Sherlock spike because we had 100 million power and hit them from, you know, more than 50% of their HP down to zero. <laughs> yeah, that like I said, that was kind of an own goal on my part because I was just trying to finish out the level. And I just plain forgot that they had that. Like, I could have taken, like, a Wraith Knight and gotten the level, I think. And then I think the only the only other thing that annoyed me was, of course, the overworld had to be the search spot, so I had to make the entire walk back down to uh, Jerk again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we saw the rocks right close to home. Five north, four east. I know both of y'all was face palming like, Erdrick, you lazy tonight. <laughs> it's always one of those where you go, man, I wonder if it would ever be worth it to just randomly search tiles while you're doing that early grind and just, just for the one chance it's there. You know, it doesn't, <laughs> but I think on average it's, it's losing time. There. But it'd be really funny yeah. the one time it lands. I, it was funny that both of y'all decided to go and check that Spark Over Bridge before going to Cole, just to see if that if the, if the lottery ticket was there. Sadly, it wasn't. But still. you know, I know, I know. It, you know, just a it's it's a big meme in the community and whatever. But the day that that actually pays off will be the greatest day in the history of this community, and you want to be a part of it. <laughs> Oh, the day the, the day that happens and I'm commentating that I am going to go out of character and I'm going to say and I'm going to be getting on phone calls trying to find out where Earth signs at and I'm going to be like uh, Sparky and I'm going to be like hey Sparky your dream just came true <laughs> we'll throw her into commentary so she can commentate to end that bad boy but other than that though game two is incoming any thoughts going to be in game two you guys I, I mean, I don't know that there's a whole lot about to think about game two that we we're weren't already thinking about game one. So, uh, the, my my biggest problem is that uh, I have an appointment in the morning and I'm not going to miss the game tonight live. So I'll be playing on a sleep deprivation. Uh, so maybe that'll uh, <laughs> that'll tilt things even more in Smashy's favor tomorrow night. We'll see. Yeah, anything else you wanted to add, Smashy, at all? Uh, nope, I guess he just... Yeah, looking at the deaths, he just... 
uh, died less, and that's really all that there is to it. Yeah, I I was fortunate enough to have hit those red dragons before I ever got to Remeldar, and so it steered me away from that ever. After beating my head against the Swamp Cave for first time, the actual second town I found uh, in uh, in exploration was actually Garenham. I never came across any of the things in the middle on my way down there, so I didn't have the desire to gold grind by the time I had the opportunity to do so. Yeah, I, I figured Remeldar was up there. I just didn't think it would be be that far of a walk up there, and then it just completely dead ended. Like I thought, I legitimately thought, oh wait, this this is gonna open up again, and then then there's actually stuff up here. It's like nope. Well, that's a thing. Well, if our contestants are done for the night, DK, send us off with the shutdown. Absolutely. So everyone out there, definitely give both these runners a follow. They've been doing fantastic this tournament. It's been absolutely awesome to watch both of them um, week in and week out, game in, game out. And uh, make sure to tune in for game two for them tomorrow night on RPG Limit Break. So that's at 9 p.m. And then tune in to Brian Williams 42 and Chromaticalism tonight, just shy of midnight over on RPG Limit Break as well for their game two. Um, but for now... Closing for our restreamer, Elmore St. James, our tracker, the Sea Wolf One, and my partner in the booth here, Sinister Sama. I'm DK9146. Have a good evening. Good fight. Good night. <laughs>